Hello, I didn't really expect to talk much during this video, but I kind of forgot to record the rest of the process of making the helmet, so here we are. I'm just going to guide you through it in some pictures, right in person, just you and me. I started polishing it. I started with about a 80 or so grit, um, and then of course I worked my way up, 80, 120, up to I think it was like 300 maybe, I forget exactly. I didn't take it to a very high polish because I wanted to keep the cost kind of low for my friend that I was building it for. Once the polish was all on there, I put the holes in for the uh, for the liner and for the reveals. I beveled those so that it didn't, uh, didn't chew up the string that I was sewing the liner in with, of course. And so after that, it looked pretty alright. It was a nice sort of just low-profile bassinet. Then I started doing the equipment for the hinge, and so that required a little sort of L-shaped uh, bracket right on the forehead or the brow, I guess, and then that would correspond with the hinge that I started making for that, uh, which would attach to the visor, because it's going to be a clap visor, uh, sort of variant of bassinet, based off of this original, loosely. So then I started dishing out the visor. Uh, I started with a fairly basic shape, and it didn't really uh, get quite as deep as I wanted it to, so I cut a little triangle into the bottom of it, I folded that onto itself, welded that, and that kind of made a little cone, uh, but that was too sharp. So I heated up the, uh, the, the very tip of that cone and then hammered that flat and that made a nice sort of rounded shape, which is what I was going for. Drew in the oculars after uh, roughing out that shape, cut that out, polished the whole thing up after attaching it to the hinge, of course. And then that was essentially all I needed to do to attach it to the bassinet itself. Then I had to put in the liner and I made a liner kind of similar to the Schoberg uh, bassinet. It's kind of got a drawstring at the top. It was a new design that I actually hadn't done before, so that was kind of fun to experiment with, and it seemed to work out all right. Then I put on the Aventail, of course. I just took a coif, just a regular off-the-shelf male coif, draped it over the top of the bassinet, and then I snipped off the uh, some of the rings around the edge, uh, and that made a perfectly flat edge, which I stitched to a leather... Uh, attachment which would go onto the reveals, of course. Once that was done, uh, you could just throw the Aventail on there and it would be pretty functional, but I wanted to go a little bit further. Um, I wanted to give uh, my friend a little bit more protection on his neck and shoulders and collarbones and all that, so I sewed in a liner. I actually took a gambeson that I had made some years ago, and uh, you see it in some of my older videos, and I cut that one up and just stitched that into the liner. On the edge of the whole thing, of the oven tail. I just uh, did a little spiral stitch through each ring that secured it pretty well. It looks right, gives him a little bit extra protection, um, and it's, you know, it's perfectly historical of course as well, which is nice. So then I delivered it to my friend and he seemed to be very pleased with it, uh, to say the least. So I'm very happy that he's very happy with it. Uh, and so that is uh, that's sort of how the whole thing went down. Thanks for watching. Uh, Leave a comment, all that, you know the drill, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.